A Minnesota business owner last night defying the governor's orders to close all bars and restaurants despite threats from her state's attorney general. The bar owner and single mother of four girls says she's prepared to pay up to $25,000 in fines per violation and possibly even face jail time if it means standing up for her rights. That owner of Haven's Garden in Lind, Minnesota, Larvita McFarquhar, joins me now. Lavita, thank you so much for being with us this morning. You're standing up. You're standing up for your rights. When you say that, what do you mean? Well, I'm standing up so the governor has no right to mandate that we close down our business when I'm just trying to make a living for my daughters and I. And I'm standing up for being able to make a living. Um, the governor doesn't get to pick and choose who makes money and who doesn't. He didn't close down Black Friday. I mean, he should have mandated that Black Friday be closed down because our Walmart was packed. All of other stores were packed. But he wants to, you know, mandate that small businesses or restaurants can't be open. And um, no, so we have a right to be open, make a living for our children and um, survive because we're drowning out here. You're talking about survival. This is about the livelihood of your family. Uh, what has the response been to the community? Um, last night, uh, it was amazing. We had people coming from all over to support me, to stand with me, to say that you're not alone. We had Action for Liberty um, that came out. They were just amazing, the support and love that we felt. But I should tell you one thing. The most important thing is that... Um, you really should be interviewing my daughters because they were there last night. I have four girls, um, 21, 19, 16, and 14. They were the cooks. They were the chefs. <laughs> they were the waitress. They were the, you know, cleaning up. They did everything. So I just want to put it out there that, you know, most small businesses are family owned and they're doing everything together to survive in this time. Shout out to them indeed. Um, you mentioned the word love. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of love coming from the attorney general's office. Here's a portion of the letter that was sent to you. He wrote, you stated that the order was not a law and stated that the attorney general should not enforce the order because doing so would be unconstitutional. As I mentioned on the phone, executive order 2099 has the force and full effect of law and is constitutional. Will that change your stance? Do you plan to continue to stay open? Oh, I plan to stay open. We will not be closing. Um, no governor can make law. I mean, um, and just because everything he's doing is an unlawful code. And um, no, we will be open. We are open this Wednesday from 1030 to 12. And that's for parents to bring their kids down because I'm, you know, I was a stay at home mom at one time. And I know how hard it is to stay at home and not be able to go anywhere with your mm. children. So from 1030 to 12, we have um you know, we have a gymnastics gym, so the parents can come bring their kids, relax, let the kids go play in the gym. And then from 12.30 to 3, that's for the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. They can bring their computers down, do their schoolwork, and then go get some fun time in the gym just so they can relieve some stress. Absolutely. Um, no, so we're, we'll be open. And can you follow, Larvita, can you follow the protocols, the CDC guidelines, some distancing, all of that? And as a business owner, you know how to do that responsibly. Yes, we can follow that. People are smart enough and understand um, what to do in this time. And um, we have people, last night we had a lot of people there. My building is huge. It's like 10,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. I know for New York standards, that's not that big. For, well, for no, no, no. I like it. <laughs> and so, um, you know, people are social distancing. They were still having a great time laughing and coming together. So, no, pe we know how to keep each other safe. We know what to do. If you're sick, stay at home. Absolutely. Larvita McQuarfar, Haven's Garden owner in Lind, Minnesota. Thank you for your courage, for teaching free citizens how to fight. Uh, thank please you. Keep, keep us posted on your situation, if you would, please. Uh, because, I have one more thing. Go ahead. I just really would like everyone to go to actionforliberty.com and sign a petition. Um, they've been helping me with all of this, and I just really want to say thank you and um, get the petition started. There you go, actionforliberty.com. Appreciate it, Larvita. Good luck this week. Keep us Thank posted. You. Fox and Friends, we reached out to Governor Walz's office for a statement, but shockingly did not hear back.